Fans rejoice, Yellow Jackets has been renewed for a second season. The first season premiered in November of 2021 and received critical acclaim. But here's the thing, the symbol that appears in season one was particularly interesting, something that's been terrorizing the characters 25 years on. What does the symbol stand for? How significant is it? And will we be seeing more of it in season two? First up, the symbol we're talking about. Ashley Lyle and Bart Nickerson were presented with the daunting task of connecting two timelines, one based in 1996 and the other in 2021. The series creators had to find something that would connect the two timelines, and the characters that appear in them. How? By symbolism. And we don't just mean that figuratively. The showrunners literally used a symbol to connect the two timelines. Now, what is this symbol? That's still up for debate. We don't know what it means, or what it's meant to depict. For all intents and purposes, it just seems like a bunch of circles and lines. However, symbols like that are rarely meaningless, especially considering the fact that season one of Yellow Jackets kicks off with the 2021 characters receiving postcards with the symbol marked on the back. This symbol unlocks a core memory. It's the same symbol the gang found carved into a tree and the girls found carved into an attic floor of the cabin that they found in the woods. Shauna, Natalie, and Tysa all received a postcard of a landscape with the symbol depicted on the back of it. Later, Misty and Natalie take it upon themselves to investigate the supposed suicide scene of Travis. This is where they discover that the candle wax spots below his body connect to form the same dreaded symbol. The symbol was would then appear for a final time in the season one's finale and cliffhanger when a mysterious figure approaches Natalie right before she's planning on ending her life and kidnaps her. The mysterious figure is wearing a pendant of, you guessed it, that symbol. Notwithstanding how well written the storylines for Yellow Jackets is, one of the most intriguing factors of the show has to be that symbol. The symbol appears both in the wilderness in 1996 and at home in 2021. After the series finale, where the symbol makes another dramatic return, fans were left speculating over what it could have meant. Is it something sinister? Would it give the girls the answers that they've been looking for? Would it restore some semblance of normalcy back to their lives? We don't know, but that's not stopping us from coming up with theories for it. Some of those theories are intriguing enough to add to the hype of season two and the supernatural element yet untapped in Yellow Jackets. Theory one, hobo code hieroglyphic. Simply put, the hobo code is a colloquial code left by transient individuals on their travels. There are no rules for the hobo code. It's just what one individual thought would suffice as a message for another when they came across the same landmark as them. One Reddit user was quick to point out the similarities between the symbol depicted in Yellow Jackets and known hobo code symbols. Again, there are no rules here and the code could have meant several things, but based on common depictions, the code could have meant danger, a man with a gun lives here, a beating awaits you, alcohol, halt, or doubt. Considering the fact that the game finds the symbol engraved in the same cabin that they find a corpse in, it suffice to say it should depict bad omens. This theory is further solidified by the fact that the symbol catches up to them 25 years later at a time when the girls are living unstable lives, meaning that something sinister awaits them. In the same Reddit thread, other users pointed out that the code could also be used to say, dog lives here. This holds significance when you consider the fact that the girls had a terrifying experience when they first crash landed onto the island, and how wolves were always shown looming around the dirt eating Tysa. If it is hobo code, then the symbol probably depicts bad omen, and someone tries their best to alert the girls of what they had in store for them. Theory 2 cannibalistic cult ritual. Season 1 of Yellow Jackets had a lot less to do with revealing information and a lot more with making us question everything. One popular theory that emerged after the end of Season 1 was that the cult is probably run by an adult Lottie Matthews. Whether Lottie began the cult or was recruited into it is still up for debate. However, fans speculate that it has something to do with her weird communicative powers. Did Lottie stay in the wilderness or did she go? It's unclear. However, we have reason to believe that she has much more of a role than what we originally thought. How did the girls escape the wilderness? One theory suggests that in order to escape, they had to partake in the cult's cannibalistic ritual, which might explain why they were terrified when they saw depictions of the symbol in their adulthood. If you look closely at the symbol, you can vaguely make out a figure. The circle is its head, the triangle is its body, and the lines depict arms spread out. If you look even closer, however, you'll notice that the figure depicted in the symbol is seemingly strung up with a hook while appearing to bleed out. Did Lottie stay in the wilderness to partake in more cult-related activities? And if eventually become their leader, it seems more likely than not. This would also bring the show full circle, showing us how each one of the survivors made it into their adulthood, including Lottie. Theory 3, A Yellow Jacket Yellow Jackets kicks off with a group of high schoolers traveling from New Jersey to Seattle for a national soccer tournament. While flying over 
Canada, the plane malfunctions and crash lands deep into the wilderness. The surviving members of the team are then left to navigate through the wilderness in order to survive, which they eventually do 19 months later. Why the Yellow Jackets? The Yellow Jacket is a predatory social wasp found in North America. It is also the soccer team's mascot. When the team tries to find aid in the wilderness, they come across an abandoned cabin where the mysterious symbol is depicted. Fans have theorized that the symbol might not be as mysterious as people originally thought. The symbol might be a simplistic depiction of the yellow jacket itself. How? The circle is its head, the triangle is its body, and the lines running to its side are the wings, and the hook at the end is the stinger, a perfect yellow jacket. This theory is particularly interesting in the fact that it could mean the team was designated to crash land in that particular area of the wilderness, a premonition of sorts. The soccer team was the team that was, in effect, destined to have been next to partake in the cult's rituals, and the cult needs to fulfill the prophecy even in the girl's adulthood. Theory 4 a math problem. During the premiere of Yellow Jackets, the coach makes a remark that the team was never particularly good at trigonometry. Somewhat of a general thing to say in the moment, but the comment comes up at multiple instances throughout season one. This has led fans to theorize that the symbol could be a trigonometry math problem. What significance would a math problem have? The answer might be magnified onto a map to help the girls escape the wilderness. For example, the triangle might show them where they are in the wilderness, the lines might show them how far away from civilization they are, and the hook might depict where the cult resides. The math problem might also depict how the girls ultimately put their heads together and found a way to escape the wilderness with their greatest weakness. So, what do we have to look forward to in Yellow Jacket Season 2? The Yellow Jacket Season 1 finale left us with a million and one questions, but luckily the creators announced in December of 2021 that the series would be renewed for a second season. If all goes according to plan, the second season would likely premiere in November of 2022. Season 1 ended with a cliffhanger. Natalie was kidnapped by a group of mysterious figures with pendants that depict the show's long-standing mysterious symbol, and season two might reveal more of Lottie's involvement in the cult, whether or not she's the cult leader or a mere recruit herself, and her resurgence in the present. The next season might also dive deeper into the girl that we see the soccer team eating during the first episode of season one. Who is she? And will her death have any repercussions for the girls in the present? Plus, how will Shauna navigate through her life now that her distant teenage daughter Callie knows her mother murdered Adam? Much of the original cast will be headed into season two. The main cast intact with a few new roles that haven't been discussed yet. Needless to say, we can't wait to see what lies ahead in Yellow Jackets Season 2. Well, that's all for today's video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos for more interesting fan theories, and we'll be back to see you soon. Bye!